this game tonight. Bates, by the way, doesn't put up great numbers in terms of points, but does a really good job rebounding. And in 20 of his 22 games this year, he's blocked two or more shots. And Boston College has made a change in their lineup for the first time since early December in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Big 6'11 senior Nick Popovich is in the lineup for Jim Christian's team, who's trying to rebound after a tough loss at Miami Wednesday night. And, of course, NC State, a five-point winner at Syracuse on Tuesday night. The Wolfpack gets the ball here first. Markel Johnson runs the offense for Kevin Keats, now in year three in Raleigh. C.J. Bryce has been on a tear in this last stretch for the Wolfpack as well. Thornton pressures Daniels. Here's the lob and the catch by Thunderbird. Bates the early rebound and the stick back for Manny Bates. Well, we talked about his shot blocking. He also is excellent on the offensive glass using his length and athleticism. That's a nice offensive rebound put back for Manny Bates. This is a big ball game in terms of the transitional nature of the ACC standings. But it might be a bigger ball game for NC State in their March future beyond the ACC tournament. There's Popovich on the board. Their best shooter from the floor at 47%. And that's a nice pass by Jay Heath. Popovich with the nice soft touch. And speaking with Coach Jim Christian before this game, he said, look, uh, the play of our backcourt against NC State is going to be huge in this game. In particular, they must take care of the ball. Tried the backdoor lob to Bates. Popovich cleans it up on the baseline. Here's BC frontcourt quickly under the guidance of the grad transfer, Derek Thornton. And right back to Popovich, who spins through Bates and then turned it over to Funderburg. West, that's a number we're going to watch throughout this game, turnovers. Uh, mm -hmm. NC State, one of the better teams at turning you over uh, with their activity in the passing lanes. Well, here's Bryce working on Thornton. Fall away. C.J. Bryce on the board. And Malcolm, his last three games, averaging almost 19 points, seven rebounds, 51% from the floor. He's... He's done all you could ask for. And there's nothing you can do right there. That's not bad D by Derek Thornton. That's just a guy that's on fire with a beautiful turnaround jumper. Here's Thornton trying to answer and does with a triple out of the corner. Just 2 of 11 the other night in the loss at Miami. Thornton hits his 21st three of the year. By the way, he had only been four of his last 23 from behind the line until he knocked that one down. Thunderbird, front rim miss. Bryce the offensive chance. That got poked away by Thornton. All the way to the basket, blocked off the window by Johnson, and Thornton's got five of Boston College's first seven. Well, I like the aggression by Derek Thornton. Try to get out before that NC State defense can get set up. This is his great individual play defensively uh, by Derek Thornton. Again, pushing the pace, and really not a good play that time, though, by Johnson. Did not look like that ball was going to go in. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, Boston College with a deuce. DC's really extended their pressure here early out of the man-to-man. -man. Markel Johnson working against Thornton. Here's Bryce again. This time the freshman Heath trying to defend it. And quickly BC into transition. Out front Popovich. That ball got poked away. Look at Johnson fight Thornton for it. And Derek Thornton saves it in the backcourt. 15 to shoot. Heath a three. Got it. Big basket for Jay Heath. When he plays well, the Eagles play well. Yeah, and that's a tough break for NC State. Looked like Johnson was going to get a steal. And good recovery by Thornton and a heads-up play to get it up to Heath. And you're right. Uh, he is an X factor for Boston College. When he tends to play well, and we're going to get into that number a little later, uh, Boston College tends to play uh, in the winning column. Three and a half minutes gone. Eagles have built an early six-point lead here. Daniels, baseline. And Bryce battling for it, pulls it away from Thornton. Here's Funderburk at the foul line. Rebound for Hamilton. Front court comes Derek Thornton. Boston College is perfect from the floor early. Thornton trying to keep the streak alive. Cannot. But they'll get a reset. He'll try a new streak. <laughs> Early six-point lead. Daniels left open. 
And Popovich battled Bates, who touched it last, and that'll get us to a timeout. Well, Manny Bates has got one of the two Wolfpack field goals, but NC State trails six. We're going to find out that the big man from Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's tattooed on his chest. He said it was my first tattoo, and he wanted something that involved my goal of playing basketball at the highest level. Hmm. Since he was, had that chase as a young kid, uh, he used the clouds. Uh, and you see there's clouds on his chest to make it more dreamlike. And I can tell you right now, that young man is not only the talented on the court, uh, but off the court. That's some work that I would buy. That looks like stuff that you would see in an art gallery and really an amazing story. The stuff he did with the pencils, really incredible. And we appreciate Manny Bates sharing it with us earlier today. And you saw the giveaway by BC, who moved on the inbounds pass. State couldn't convert, miss at the other end. And here we are in the Wolfpack again. Kind of a frustrating start for a team that has won two straight on the road here. Yeah, and this is one they have to have. Uh, we talked uh, to, to Coach Kevin Keats uh, at shoot around this morning, and, you know, look, uh, they've been kind of up and down, but they really control their own destiny. It starts tonight on the road against Boston College. Uh, there is really uh, a small room uh, for error for them. This is one they have to have. Jericho Hellams, the sophomore from St. Louis, commits the foul. It'll be his first. And it's the first on NC State. There are a lot of things about where the Wolfpack find themselves right now, especially the opportunities in front of them. But in the details of wins, you need tonight. Not make or break by any stretch, but certainly one you would like to have in the left rather than the right column. There's a fall away by Hamilton. By the way, Jarius's older brother, Jared, will not play tonight. He's in Street close on the BC bench, missing another ball game. Didn't play the other night at Miami. In fact, did not make the trip along with Chris Heron as well. And before the knockdown, we get a foul. And it will be on Boston College's CJ Felder, his first. You get a look at Jim Christian, who, by the way, had a birthday about 10 days ago, turned 55, native of Beth Page, New York. And he and his staff have done a nice job again, I think, finding. Uh, some hidden gems. Jay Heath has turned into a really good uh, bright spot playing that point guard position for Jim Christian and staff. Yep, and Heath commits the foul on the back out underneath. Kip Kissinger, who works tonight with Jeff Clark and also Tim Clockerty on the foul against Boston College, which is their second. And here's Bryce to work again on Heath. He can win that matchup, it looks like, Malcolm. Yeah, and I like what they're doing. He's using his size. They're isolating him, trying to see if Boston College uh, doubles. That time, though, pretty good defense by Thornton. Wolfpack's missed 10 shots in a row, though, from the floor. That's why they trail by six. Mitchell. There's the feed. Felder to the rack. Can't finish it. Pulled away by Daniels. Lob, catch, Bryce the layup. C.J. Bryce has got his second field goal and four of NC State six. That's a beautiful play by Daniels. Heads up, unselfish, and then the lob was perfect uh, for Bryce. Heath with Helms defending. Now Mitchell working against Braxton Beverly and goes right to the dribble. And one. Nope, offensive foul, says Tim Clockerty. So it'll be an offensive foul on Stefan Mitchell, his first, the third on Boston College. Well, I like the idea by Boston College. Mitchell clearly has, uh, yeah, I mean, he got him up there. I mean, look, he had the elbow up. That's a smaller guy, but that's when they have to call. Again, he's got an elbow in the guy's face. Uh, he's trying to clear a space, and, and anytime you make that type of contact, and, I think they're going to call that, but certainly a tough break for Boston College. Helms out of the corner. Jericho went for 10 the other night in the win at Syracuse. Has missed his first couple of shots here tonight. Boston College by four. And Mitchell had it poked away by Johnson. Nice pass. Felder the dunk off the baseline. Good look by Stefan Mitchell. And both teams are now trying to play the matchups. Earlier on, NC State, C.J. Bryce trying to use his size. That time, Mitchell, clear size advantage, excellent patience, and then the dump-off pass for the dunk. Mitchell 
Johnson's going to be called for the travel. Markell went up in the air and then was trying to find an open teammate and hit the ground, and all of a sudden, nobody was around. And but this here's the pass. Yeah, this right here, heads up play by Mitchell. Again, waiting for the double team, pinpoint passing, and then Felder with the finish. Yep. Excellent offensive execution by Kam Boston College. Kamari Williams has come on, Malcolm, and his minutes have expanded here in the last couple of ball games as well for BC. Here's Williams. Back for Thornton as BC's doubled the number on NC State with almost eight minutes gone, and now Heath bangs home a triple. He's got six. Well, early on, we talked about turnovers from Boston College, and then they're running their offense. They're getting some wide-open looks. Helms the spot and catch. Jericho Helms now with his first basket. Markel Johnson, one of the lead assist guys in the ACC. That's a beautiful play. Draw the D and then kick it out. There was nobody within five feet of him. Tend to shoot, and Thornton on the bounce. All the way in will draw the foul. I think that's Markel Johnson. It will be his first. And a couple of free throws on NC State's second team foul. Well, right here, again, this is what Boston College has done early on in this game. They're getting some nice looks. That time, Derek Thornton with the unselfish play, dribble penetration, breaks down your D, and then the kick back out. Uh, for he for the wide open three. First free throws of the game for Thornton, who is 10th best in the ACC at 76%. You see Bryce and Bates in for Thunder Burke and Markel Johnson and Kevin Keats's lineup. Julian Rishwain, the freshman from Sherman Oaks, California, has checked into the lineup as well for Boston College for the first time as Thornton hits both. And Derek Thornton, who's been double figures in four of the last five games, has got seven of BC 17 here. And Posted him to a nine point lead. Daniels. Bounce pass in tight. Helms is fouled from behind. Jeff Clark on the whistle, I believe, against Mitchell. And it is on Stefan Mitchell, his second, fourth on BC. Timeout here at Conte Forum. Nine point lead for the Eagles. In three years, we told you they've won two straight road games. They got four ACC wins this year already on the road. And all of that has amounted to a very important next two, two, two and a half, three weeks for NC State here. Joe Lenardi has them in the precarious first four out category. <laughs> Helm's got one of two, by the way. So now Kevin Keats told us, and I thought he was very candid. Hey, look, we don't talk about it as a team. He goes, you guys do, that's part of what you do. He said, and I know that we've got opportunities. And he's talking about two games with Duke and one with Florida State coming up. Well, he also has to hope like things happen other places, like mm, Iowa beating Minnesota today. Maybe Cal gets Arizona State tonight in the West Coast. Things like that help NC State. Yeah, it does. And I think that first four in, first four out, that those teams are going to continue to be changing uh, volatile absolutely and i think you know look i go back to my playing days never once uh did our coaches talk to us about that type of stuff right uh, we just we never thought about it you were just focused on your next game uh your opponent in front of you and then that's it and then you move on to the after the game and i think that's the approach uh, coach keats and any coach would tell you that they want to take with their players they know players know things i mean especially today right Here's Rish Wayne trying to get BC back on track and turned it over trying to bounce it to Kamari Williams. So it's an eight point lead here for the Eagles and a little bit of a sluggish start perhaps for the Wolfpack who went through an early drought of missed shots while BC started four for four from the floor. Braxton Beverly Boston College had him at the top of the scouting report. He's been a thorn in the Eagles' side in the last couple of years. Well, if I'm NC State, I'm going to go back to that C.J. Bryce uh, matchup. I think that's the one that they need to exploit. You know, right now, uh, Boston College is doing a nice job keeping them off of the offensive glass. Really, nobody crashing that last possession for NC State. Look at Heath trying to get it front court. Here's Rishwain. 
Jarius Hamilton, the sophomore, and now Popovich starting tonight for the first time in more than two months. And he misses with the sky hook. And that was the sky hook, kids. <laughs> Here's Bryce spotting for three. Backside rebound for Rishwain. Now Heath. Way off. Daniels collects the air ball. I think Heath knew it as soon as he cut it loose, Mouth. Yeah, that's when you don't even need to look over at the bench. You know what he's saying. That's really not a good shot. Tapped home by Bates. BC bench wanted basket interference. Manny Bates a couple of field goals here in the first half. Yeah, and that's twice now. He's been on the offensive glass. Nice work that time using his length uh, to put one back in for NC State. Popovich all the way to the rack and one. Bates will draw the foul. It'll be the third on the Wolfpack. And Nick Popovich, who's been banged up a little bit during the course of the season, gets a nice basket here. Yeah, and that's one right there. That's how you want to attack a shot blocker. Uh, but on the previous play right there, look at the length uh, by Bates and the timing. Uh, excellent touch. Uh, but back to uh, Popovich. Completes the three-point play. Anytime you're going up against a shot blocker, if you try to fade away, uh, they're going to get your hands on it. you got to try to get into their body like Popovich did right there. And try to get it up over their length. So Luka Kraljevic, who did not play at Miami, was scoreless in six minutes at Virginia Tech a week ago. And an overtime win for the Eagles has come on now with... Changes all around, and Helms buries the three out of the corner. Jericho Helms now 27 threes on the year. And that's all set up again by C.J. Bryce. Really, that's just a beautiful play. Break down the D, draw the defense, and then kick it out. Uh, B.C.'s got to do a better job not getting broken down off the dribble penetration. First three of the night for the Wolfpack. Draws them to within six again. Heath, a runner. Tough shot. And the freshman now has eight in the first half. Couple of threes and a two-point field goal. The lead eight for Boston College. We played 11 minutes of the first half. Bryce working on the taller Kraljevic. Spins in traffic, skips for Helms. Daniels attacks. Beverly the catch and shoot. And Bryce couldn't contain it over the inline last touch by the Wolfpack. Well, a good ball movement here, but well, he's off to a good start. Yeah, that's just a tough move by the freshman. I mean, take the hit, body control, going away from the basket, little floater. That's excellent concentration and touch. And, of course, Jay Heath, we've told you, averaging 12 and a half points a game. You see the note at the bottom when he gets 15 or more. BC's won seven of the nine times it's happened. And Derek Thornton on the drive. Another good guy off to a start tonight for Boston College. He's got 10 now. Yeah, Coach Christian talked about well, in order for us to beat NC State, uh, those two guys in particular are going to have to have a solid night, Heath and also Thornton. I said Thornton had 10. He has nine. The miss at the other end by Helms. And look at Hamilton burrow away his way through underneath and get his first basket. Yeah, Coach Keats wanted a offensive foul call felt like he excuse me uh, Hamilton was throwing the elbows lead is 12 for Boston College biggest of the night for Jim Christian's team and Kip Kissinger spots a foul it's on Kraljevich and that will get us to a timeout five on BC but right now the basketball presented by Geico here on ACC Network and the ESPN app and the Knowles are a team that, despite the loss Monday night, Joe Lenardi has them as a three seed. They got it. They were gutty yesterday against the Orange. Now, yeah, you know Leonard Hamilton. I can't say it enough. Uh, for me, uh, he is just uh, so underrated. What he's been able to do with Florida State, they're a program. I mean, he's. That's it. I mean, he's got his system down, and uh, they are very tough, very well coached. And, you know, a team like Pittsburgh, though, uh, has an opportunity as we take a look at another drive by NC State, has an opportunity uh, to move up in the rankings yeah. in the ACC and potentially maybe go on a little run in the ACC tournament. You got a kettle of folks with seven wins and another kettle with six <laughs> right now. 
as a guy I work with calls it a glob. There's Popovich, and that is a two for Nick Popovich. Seven for the senior from Bosnia and Herzegovina. BC's hit five in a row now. Remember, they started with a four-shot streak at the front of the game, and there's a foul from behind on Heath, and Bryce beat him on the dribble. And what Boston College is doing right now, they're not giving up points off of turnovers. Right now in the game, uh, NC State only two points off of turnovers. Uh, remember, Wes, that was a key coming into this. We talked about it, NC State's ability to turn you over and then get out in transition and create offense off of those turnovers. I think Boston College right now in the first half has done a good job taking care of the ball. C.J. Bryce to the line. He's 78% on the year. And the first one is good. I, I had a real chance to visit with him the other day. I thought that the other night he hit that three in the first half at Syracuse, and that looked like the C.J. Bryce from a season ago. And as you see substitutions for B.C., and I, I asked him, I said, hey, you know, you all the way back? He said, sure. He said, but i got to be honest with you. He said, a little more than I thought it was. He said, you hear concussion, and you've never really had one. And then when you have one, he said, it's not just going through that process. It's then coming back to what amounts to normal activity. Well, I think he's back to normal activity based on recent performances. Yeah, and it's scary. Uh, you know, Coach Keats talked about it. He said he feels like he's back being comfortable mm. on the court. And I mean, you're right. You talked to him about it. It's really some scary stuff dealing with that concussion protocol. Yep. Rich Wayne. Here's Thornton. Long three, Derek Thornton. Thunderbird, the nice box out of Popovich. And Wes, I like the change up by Coach Keats. That time they went to a 3 2 matchup zone. And, you know, he talked about that in shoot around. Mm -hmm. He said, look, Boston College runs a lot of actions where teams have to go to zone because uh, they're getting some open looks. And, you know, early on in this game, you can see this lead by Boston College. They get open looks. So, Again, good change up by Coach Keats going to that 3 2 matchup zone. Seventh foul on Boston College comes with 6 10 to play. One and one the rest of the first half for NC State. And here's Devin Daniels, 68% at the free throw line, who is scoreless so far tonight. 10 point lead for the Eagles. And the first one good. Don't forget Thursday night's Ladies' Night on ACC Network. A doubleheader of women's basketball comes your way. Pam Ward, Debbie Antonelli will be at the Dome for Syracuse and Clemson. And then Wes Moore and NC State, who've lost to Louisville and today to Nell Fortner and Georgia Tech, are in Miami. Jen Hildreth, LaChina Robinson will be there for our coverage here on ACC Network. Nine-point game as Daniels got one of the two. A little pressure offered by the Wolfpack. Hamilton tries to break it with the jumper. That's twice now. NC State has changed up, giving BC a different look on offense. And then Devin Daniels continues uh, the forcing into the basket. That's a beautiful runner going away from the ball. But uh, I like the change. Now they're going a little three-quarter court pressure. Mm -hmm. And that really has slowed Boston College down these last few possessions. Rich Wayne. Now here's Felder, the young freshman. And Thornton. 10 to shoot, and here's Rich Wayne. Tried to split the front, turned it over. Daniels with Hamilton chasing will set it down. Devin Daniels with five in a row for the Wolfpack State to within five. About the seven minute mark, the change of defenses by Coach Keats really has changed the momentum in this game. Lead's been as big as 12 for Boston College in the first half. Felder at the other end. Wow, I think mm. we might have one right there. <laughs> that could show up on the top ten. That's beautiful offense. Nice pass that time by Popovich and then C.J. Felder. Man, he was up high for that one. They tried to bounce it to Thunderbird. Turned over by Helms in the Wolfpack. Seven-point game. Thornton looking for more. Here's Hamilton on the cut and score. Four for Hamilton and a Wolfpack timeout. 4.34 to go. Here in this first half, and every time it seems like NC State's drawing close, BC runs out for more. Eagles by nine when we continue. To push this BC advantage back to nine. Yeah, really, they executed and they had a really nice answer uh, when NC State looked like they were going to be on a run. And now Boston College, it 
changes up their defense, and they're going to a little matchup zone. Hellams foul line jumper. Jericho Hellams has eight here in the first half. The sophomore from Chaminade in St. Louis. Feed to Felder, knocked away. Look at Beverly scoop it up. Here's Hellams, three on one, feeds Daniels for the layup. Oh, Devin Daniels has got him in bunches, doesn't he? Yeah, and you can't run the fast break any better that time. NC State off of the turnover. Well, that's pretty basketball and unselfish. Five-point game, 32-27 Boston College. Coverage continues in a moment. Their ability to break down the NC State defense and then get into the paint and either provide good at scoring opportunities for their teammates or themselves. You take right. a look at these numbers right here. Nine and eight for Jay Heath, but I think the other key number of for, for them, Wes, only one turnover amongst the two of those mm. guards. And you touched on NC State likes to force them when they force a big number. Typically, they have success. They trail, though, by five. Under four to go here, first half. Heath tries to ring the bell from deep. And Daniels the rebound. And the 3 2 matchup zone has been the best defense for NC State and really has changed the momentum in this game. And gotten NC State back within single digits. State's hit their last five shots on the floor, and Daniels in particular have been very effective. Hellams ends the streak with a missed three. And Tim Clockerty whistle DJ Funderburg. Headed toward the Wolfpack bench, hobbling a little bit. That'll bring Manny Bates back onto the floor for Coach Keats. And Ron Cooper is the new Wolfpack basketball trainer in his first year. And he'll keep an eye on Thunderbird as he tries to walk it off over there on the bench. Here's that zone again, Malcolm. Yeah, and they're active in it. Again, the guys up top, C.J. Bryce right now at the top of that 3-2 zone, but they will still try to get their hands in the passing lane and if you're Boston College obviously you have to be mindful of any turnovers. Lefty three Mitchell knocks it down. Remember Stefan Mitchell's playing with two fouls. His 11th three of the year is his first points tonight and the advantage goes back to eight for the Eagles. Daniels kicks for Helms. Jericho skips for Daniels. Here's Beverly left open left corner. And he can't buy it and a whistle and foul underneath as Mitchell got knocked to the deck. And it's going to be on Jericho Hellums. It'll be his second. Well, you can't ask for a more wide open look off of excellent ball oh. movements. Oh. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's uh, right in front of the ref. That looks like something that Jerry York's team might have done in here last night on the ice. <laughs> a little hip check, a little check in front of the net. Wolfpack staying in that zone. One of the things helping Boston College is they've got four threes. They only average six and a half a game. There's Hamilton trying to make it five, and he does. Seven for Hamilton. And the lead 11. Well, Hamilton came into this game 27% from the three-point uh -huh. line, so really, you know, if you're NC State, you got to live with that in the zone. Helms. And the foul. Well, I'll ask you this for a group that hits six and a half threes a ball game. Malcolm, are you, and by the way, they are 14th in the ACC in three point field goal percentage in conference play. Are you willing to live and die out there tonight? Well, I, I think the, the, the key thing in this is that they're uncontested threes, Wes. So the previous one, Stefan Mitchell. Uh, they're really, it's off of excellent ball movement or dribble penetration. So uh, you can live with contested threes, but that right there, I think, is just uh, really too much airspace. Don't forget, after the ball game tonight, nothing but net. Kelsey Riggs, Dallin Cuff, Luke Hancock, Carlos Boozer in studio tonight to look back at the week gone by and preview what's ahead with inside analysis and more. It follows our coverage here tonight from Chestnut Hill on ACC Network. But Jericho Hellams is three for four at the line. By the way, the foul a moment ago was on Stefan Mitchell, so he has three in this first half with 90 seconds and change to go. He can't find it on the slash to the basket. Here's Bryce. 
And the pack trailing nine. They lob and catch for Bates. Half dozen for Manny Bates in the first half. And that's twice now we've seen the NC State guards make excellent decisions and transition. Beautiful lob pass that time by Daniels to Bates. Seven point game with 70 seconds to go. And a foul is called on Bryce. It'll be the first on Bryce and five on the Wolfpack. And this right here, though, excellent transition offense. Daniels with the beautiful touch pass for transition D by Boston College. And again, another heads up play and pinpoint passing. Yep. Heath. Now Fort. Working off the Popovich screen. Left it on the ground. Here's Bryce with the takeaway. Kamari Williams with him, but Bryce will score. Eight for Bryce. And a BC timeout with under a minute to go, and it's right back down to five again. Yeah, just when we were talking about how the BC guards did not turn the ball over in this stretch right here, again, you cannot turn the ball over against NC State. They do an excellent job being active in the passing lanes. That time, Thornton tries to split, and then C.J. Bryce. This is just another beautiful finish. Body control, left hand off the glass, and... Critical stretch for Boston yep. College right here. It looked like they might have been able to extend it to double digits before going into half. Five-point ball game. Well, and when you talk about the Wolfpack, we mentioned it earlier, a critical piece of their schedule. Twice they play Duke in 12 days. They get Florida State, the rematch with North Carolina, and Pittsburgh comes to Raleigh. I mean, all these games are big, but the two with Duke and the one with Florida State, in six days, they, they kind of pop off the page here. <laughs> that is uh, really, I mean, I, I don't mean to laugh, but that is a tough stretch right there for them. But obviously, they're in a fight right now on the road versus Boston College. Down five, Thornton on the drive, and will draw the foul on Bates, and that'll be his second. Six on the Wolfpack with 51.6 to play in this first half. will put Thornton to the line where he is two for two and has nine first half points. Well, I feel like Thornton has played a really excellent floor game for Boston College in his first half. I felt he's obviously scored points for them, but I think the key thing is he's taking care of the ball, but he's set his teammates up for some quality looks. DJ Funderburg going to get back in to spell Manny Bates here. And Funderburg looks to be okay. Remember we told you he hobbled off a moment ago. So here's Thornton with 10 now, double figures for the fifth time in six games, making 11 as he hits both free throws. He leads BC in scoring. CJ Bryce going to bring it front court. A couple of possessions probably left in this half, and Boston College leads seven. Off the screen by Funderburg, here's Daniels lobbing, and it got deflected Popovich. What do the Eagles have in the final 31 seconds? They've got Rish Wayne on the right wing. Popovich thought about it. Puts it on the ground, off the glass, rebound Daniels. State can hold for one, and it looks like that's what Kevin Keats wants here with 15 seconds to go. Well, if I'm NC State, I'm looking at that C.J. Bryce matchup, see if you can get him isolated. Daniels into traffic, bodies hit the deck, no whistle. And the horn will sound, and Boston College is going to take a 40 to 33 lead to the locker room. Eagles got off to a hot start, Malcolm, made it stick. Yeah, and I think, you know, obviously if you're NC State, that could have been double hot. Can they get that back from the locker room might be the question Kevin Keats is asking. Yeah, and I think the change of defense really was huge for them late in the second half. I think the number that needs to go up, though, 9% in that first half from the three-point line, one of 11. Markel Johnson only played six minutes. It wasn't foul trouble. He came up with an assist and three turnovers, and there's a throwaway by Daniels to start the half. And that's not what the third-year coach of the Wolfpack wanted across the way. And there's a drive and bucket for Thornton, who now has 13 for the Eagles, and the lead back to nine. Well, interesting thing, Thornton's right-handed, but he's a, a really comfortable finishing around the basket with his left hand. Manny Bates cleans up. Seems like all four points are on stickbacks, or all four field goals are on stickback, now. And that's what he does. There's Johnson a steal. Markell will go to the basket and set down his first points. 
He's third in the ACC in steals, second in steals in conference play. And that's four in a row for State. And he is the guy. I think he is the X factor for NC State. You talked about it. zero points in the first half, really a non-factor. That's what they need more of him. Uh, getting out in the passing lanes is take a look at uh, the foul there by Johnson. But again, he's a guy that they need his production right here against careless pass by Heath and then easy deuce uh, for Markel Johnson. They need his offensive production. Minute and change gone, second half, five point game. After four in a row by the Wolfpack. Popovich working with Bates on the defensive side. There's Heath. How did he squeeze that through traffic? Ten for Heath on his fourth field goal. I'm not sure how he got that one to go. I mean, that's really pretty good defense by NC State. That's a basically a blind shot by Heath. I'm not sure he was looking at the rim with two guys on him. Nine straight games and double figures for Heath. One of the top five freshman scorers in the ACC. Here's Bryce working against Heath off the glass. Easy money for C.J. Bryce, who now has 10. And if I'm NC State, I'm just going at C.J. Bryce again. Right now, the Boston College guards really are too small to guard him when he gets down low in the post. And he's had some really good looks. Bates blocks that offer by Thornton. It'll stay with the Eagles. In a five-point game, first block of the night for Manny Bates. And this right here, again, little curl screen by Heath. Again, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, he got his eyes on the rim, but that's a tough shot. Come on, it's got to make the former guard for the Eagles proud here now. I mean, when you see your man Heath squeeze through traffic like that. Three out of the corner. They're going to look at that. They're going to call it a two, but they want to look at it. So we'll leave it as a two right now in the lead back to seven, where it was at the break. Bryce to answer. Strong on the three. Here is Her Hamilton now off the lead from Heath. Eighteen to shoot. Popovich turns over the top of Bates. And the rebound pulled down by Johnson. Remember, Mitchell playing with three fouls. He'll have to be particularly careful on the loose ball. Well, although Bates may not get a block for that last possession, it might as well call it. Uh, he impacted the shot by Popovich. Good screen by Manny Bates. Johnson goes all the way into traffic. Offensive foul. That'll be three on Markel Johnson. Two here in the half. Both belong to the young man from Cleveland. Yeah, right here. Heads up play by Mitchell. Excuse me, Hamilton, and yeah, that's an easy call to make. He was sitting right there, and then Heath off the inbounds play. Yeah, foot clearly on the line. Here's Mitchell working behind the back against Thunderbird. All the way through, bodies down, no whistle, state with it. Look away, bounce pass to Bryce. <laughs> That was pretty for Markel Johnson. And that's what they need from him. Again, the consistency, previous play charge that time, heads up play, nice little bounce pass. But right now, NC State doing a nice job, this thing, at five for them. And I think a big reason, their defense, they're creating a lot of offense uh, with excellent defense. Eight to shoot, Popovich! Well, that's how you for the big fella. Well, that's how you attack the leading shot blocker in the ACC. Beverly tried to thread it back to Bates. It got kicked. They'll put the shot clock to 20 on the flush by Popovich. Well, right here, a little jab, and then when you're going up against the leading shot blocker in the ACC, don't lay it up. Throw it down. Nick Popovich with the beautiful move and finish. Nico sits down, and C.J. Felder has checked in. The lead is seven. Markel Johnson tried to lay it up there for Funderburk, and a foul called. And we're going to get a break here. They're checking to see if there'll be free throws or if we'll have a spot throw in. 
We'll tell you about that. They'll check on the three shot as well from Heath, but going to break without telling you about the fourth foul on Stefan Mitchell. They had yet to identify the violation, but it was the fourth on Mitchell, and that's going to be a hurdle for Jim Christian's team to crawl over. Here's Beverly, who is scoreless tonight, missing from the perimeter. And Thornton turning it into a one-man fast break, draws a foul on Markel Johnson, and that's his fourth. So Mitchell with four, and now Markel Johnson, the senior from Cleveland, draws his fourth for NC State. Yeah, and good job by Thornton, pushing the pace off of the miss. And now NC State, one of 13 in that previous play, though, got to take a look at the fourth foul that time by Stefan Mitchell the clear hold right in front of the referee so that's huge as you said for Boston College having their leading rebounder on the bench so Thornton hit the first hit the second Derek Thornton's got 15 now in the ball game. nine point advantage and Jeff Clark has just whistled a foul on CJ Felder he and Helms were locked up right around the foul line area. So the freshman from Sumter, South Carolina, who's averaging almost seven points, go four and a half rebounds in conference play, has picked up his second. And the second on the Eagles in the half. And offensive foul is gonna be the call on DJ Funderburg. That'll be his first, four on NC State. But they're trying to get Funderburg isolated right there and then yeah, that's pretty good defense uh, by Popovich. In recovery, looked like Funderburg had a clear lane. Nine-point lead, almost five minutes gone, second half. A lot at stake tonight, really, for both schools, but maybe in particular for NC State. There's Popovich, a little jump hook with the right hand. Three double-figure games now in the last five for Nick Popovich. Bryce ran off the Thunderbird screen right back to zero for the dunk. That's pretty. I mean, what a play by C.J. Bryce coming off that ball screen, draw the big, and then little dump ball pass for Thunderbird. Excellent execution. Cuts the deficit back to single digits. Wow, what a collision there. And here's Popovich. Christian not happy. Kevin Keats ain't exactly crazy with what's going on here either. <laughs> well, when are coaches really ever happy in a game? <laughs> Daniels knocks down his fourth field goal. He's got nine. That's a fair point, by the yeah, way. Until it's over and there's a W mm. next to their name. Seven-point game. Daniels has nine. Remember, he tied his career high with 23 the other night in the win at Syracuse. Thornton for Felder. He'll launch. And the rebound pulled away by Bryce. CJ, what Beverly's got to get on track if NC State wants to get going here too, right, Mom? Yeah, both teams without critical guys. Markel Johnson out for NC State, and then Stefan Mitchell on the bench for Boston College in foul trouble. Baseline, Thunderbird. And they scramble inside, and finally, BC controls it. Jarius Hamilton. Coming toward the top of your screen across the way is hobbling a little bit, wearing jersey number one for BC, and there's a turnover by the Eagles. And Kamari Williams is going to come in to replace Hamilton, but here's Nick Popovich. Yeah, it looked like Heath got caught up in the air. Popovich, though, heads up play, giving them a passing lane, and then the quick jump hook, and then CJ Bryce, beautiful pass, Thunderbird with the finish. I think they're going to need more of that. NC State, run your offense through C.J. Bryce. Either put him in the ball screen situation or put him down low in the block against the smaller guards of Boston College. Seven-point game, almost seven minutes gone, second half. NC State trying to win their third straight road game in their last three. Last time they won three straight games on the road in consecutive efforts. 1974. Wow, I was two years old. I was a little older now. Just a touch, eight. <laughs> I tell you what, though, the thing you need to know about 1974, 
no surprise that team won three straight on the road. That was David Thompson, Tommy Burleson, Monty Tau, Mo Rivers, Tim Stoddard for the great Norm Sloan. You're just showing off now. You're just showing your memory bank off. I know. Oh, I can go deeper than oh, that, too. I know. I know. We've I can give you Phil Spence road. and Mark Moeller if you want. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I, I, I have to give you your credit when credit is due as we take a look at play right here. He just ended up yeah. calling a hell sure. ball on this. Yeah, a lot of contact. Yeah, just a hell ball. After the Beverly turnover a moment ago, we've had an exchange of turnovers. That's why the ball game is still seven points. Here's Heath out of the corner. Missed the backside and the rebound for Daniels. NC State is still within distance here at seven. Can't get it to five on the miss. And Malcolm have not really generated any momentum offensively. No, they haven't. And again, I'm going to go back to my earlier point. I think, look, Bryce should probably touch the ball, mm. get him isolated, unless it's in transition off of a turnover. Let's see if you can get a him a touch on every offensive set. Heath going to work. The runner and the foul. And it'll be on Beverly. Braxton Beverly's first. That's five on the Wolfpack. And Jay Heath, the two-time Metro Washington Player of the Year, will go the line. He's got 12 in the ball game. And the free throw no good. Don't forget ACC basketball continues. Presented by Geico, Tuesday night, 8 o'clock is start time at the Tucker Center in Tallahassee, number 8, Florida State, and Pittsburgh. Dave O'Brien, Corey Alexander, and Katie George will be there for our coverage here on ACC Network. He's got the back end, 5 and a half, 13 in the ball game. He's almost to that magic number. BC's had Jay Heath score 15 or more nine times. They're 7 and 2. Foul line for Hellams. Daniels with 13 to shoot, working against Thornton. Bates trying to help with the screen. Williams played off. Daniels tried to skip it to Beverly. Knocked out of bounds by Felder with six on the shot clock. That'll get us to a timeout. 11.44 to go. BC with a eight-point lead. Locations, we talked about this at the top. Uh, this is really a huge game for both teams, uh, NC State and Boston College, a chance uh, to improve of their position and the ACC standings. Inside, here's Hellums, fouled and won. Jericho Hellums now with 12 in the game. And this is just a big time offensive rebound put back. That's what you call a grown man move right there. The flex afterwards and now that is huge. You've been talking about it, Wes. The struggles offensively for NC State, in particular from beyond the arc, 1 to 13, uh, below 10% for the game. And sometimes you're just going to have to generate offense like that, whether it's on the offensive glass or through turnovers and getting out in transition when you're struggling shooting. Five point game. Trying to work against the zone. Heath launches and hits. 16 now for Heath in the ball game. That's his third triple of the night. Lead to eight. Helms backing down Felder. And a foul will be called on the freshman. It'll be his third, four on BC. You can't break down the zone any better that time. Excellent interior passing, two bigs to bigs, and Felder with a nice kick back out uh, to a wide open Heath. Jerris Hamilton, it's a bang, he banged knees. And the word from Nick Galato, the Boston College trainer, is he will return as Daniels gives NC State another opportunity for an and one. And the foul will be ticketed to Kamari Williams. And almost as if he hurt me, here is Jerris Hamilton. Yeah, he's definitely going to get back in the game. I think for this reason right here, uh, defensively. Again, that's just a big-time move uh, by Devin Daniels. And I think a heads-up play as well, too. A lot of times, uh, guys get into a funk from beyond the arc in a game, and they continue to try to force that time Daniels. Yep. Not
not hesitating, driving the ball to the basket, getting to the free throw line. Five again is the difference here, Malcolm. Under 11 to go. Seemingly, NC State's been to the, cut the deficit to five, what, half dozen times, maybe? Popovich, who thought about it. Mike's Knicks having, I'm surprised he didn't cut it loose. Instead, nicely done, Bates reached in and knocked it away and forced the turnover. Yeah, excellent post defense that time by Bates in anticipation. Bryce for Daniels, but it'll be an offensive foul on Bryce as he cut it loose to the corner. It'll be his second, and that is six on NC State. Well, I count that now three times in the second half. Offensive fouls taken by Boston College right here. Thornton moving over. Uh, I mean, it's one of those where obviously he's coming forward. Uh, it's such a tough, we have the luxury of slow motion and in the third now that's third offensive foul of the half. You're right on uh, on NC State. And there's one as NC State's ticketed on the drive here by Thornton. That's a great. Oh, that's blocked out of bounds. Yeah, that's just out of bounds again. Yeah. Bates again with great timing. And you can see it's easy to see why he's the leading shot blocker in the ACC. Excellent timing and using his length. Five point game. Hamilton. Two to shoot. Popovich went off in his hand. Shot clock violation. And that will send it back to the Wolfpack. Well, they've been at five a few times. You've said it, Wes. Yep. I think right here, obviously, a huge possession. See if they can get this thing down to three. Bryce, for more than that, rattled out. Thornton. Heath, and now Felder. Popovich again, bothered and blocked by Bates. Here's Beverly, who's scoreless. Now Helms. Working against Hamilton. Beverly takes Hamilton on the drive and draws the foul. Second on Hamilton, six now on Boston College. And right here, Bates. That's just a great recovery. Popovich looking for the foul, and then NC State doing a nice job pushing the pace. Again, getting to the free throw line. Wes, we talked about this coming out after free throws uh, for NC State. Uh, they were unable to get there, and now in this last really three to four minute stretch, it seems like they're living at the free throw line. That is just the fifth miss of the year in 25 tries for Braxton Beverly. 83% free throw shooter, and those are his first points of the night. And NC State to within four. It's the closest they've been since it was three at seven to four early in the game. Here's Heath. Blocked again by Bates. And Bryce couldn't control it before it went over the inline. Manny Bates has blocked four shots all in the second half. Well, when I asked him at shoot around, some of the guys that he likes as shot blockers, he shocked me when he said Dikembe Mutombo. I was like, wow, that's a blast from the past, but he does an excellent job timing it, using his length, and then uh, if you're Jay Heath, again, that's just not going to work, trying to hop one over him. He's just too long and too good of a shot blocker. He hit you with the Yao Ming, too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I said then, <laughs> the Ken, they blocked up quite a few shots of mine in this building here, but... Popovich challenged by Bates, and there's the foul. That'll be the third on the redshirt freshman. Seven on NC State, and Popovich going to get a couple of free throws as a result. But after the dunk by Popovich, 15 in the red has not let it become norm. <laughs> and, and that's how you attack it. Again, I said it in the first. You have to get into a shot blocker's body, either dunking it like Popovich did in that first half or try to get it into the body and then float it up over. And that's a nice job by Popovich using his body, trying to get into one of the best shot blockers in college basketball. One of the two. Popovich has 12 now. And 
Stephon Mitchell is back with the four fouls and 8.50 to go. Boston College are back in that 2 3 matchup zone. Kevin Daniels, an unforced error on a low percentage pass across the floor, and BC going to get it right back. And that'll get Helms into the ball game. So Jericho Helms will check in. And he's coming for Manny Bates. So Funderburk and Bates were playing together now, just DJ Funderburk against this zone. Well, you're NC State. You have to get the ball to that high post area or foul line area. Two pointer for Bryce. 14 for Bryce. And now the pack to within three for the first time since early in the ballgame. That's beautiful execution against the zone. Heath trying to get around Beverly. And it bounced away for Funderburg. Under eight we go, Malcolm. Boston College out of that zone, down back, in man-to-man. -man. Beverly all the way to the basket, can't finish it. Popovich the rebound, Hamilton ahead. Helms is there, offensive foul on Jarius Hamilton. That's seven on Boston College, no free throws on player control. He made here in the second half. Well, he's impacting the game with his defense and on the offensive glass uh, in this game. Uh, he's got three blocks. Uh, but you might as well give him six or seven because there have been shots that he has impacted that he has not gotten credit for for a block. And uh, you talked with Coach Keats about uh, some of his throwbacks. And I, he mentioned Bates as being a throwback, and I said, well, who else in the league's a throwback? And he clicked off with Bisa Beattie in a heartbeat, then threw Stephon Mitchell of Boston College in the mix, and then capped it with John Mooney. And he said, when I see you again, I'll have two or three more. He said, there are a lot of guys here who don't care what their score line is, they want to win the game, and they want to do everything they can to help their team win, and that's how he identifies throwbacks. Every team needs one, and, you know, Manny Bates really, again, he just raved about how he impacts the game uh, with his defense. He doesn't care about what his stat line looks in terms of points. Uh, he just wants his team to win. Devin Daniels, his fifth turnover of the night. That ball will be scored as it's slapped off the glass by Funderburg and the foul. So the basket will count. And here's the foul on, I believe, is it Devin Daniels? So Devin Daniels draws his first. It's the eighth on NC State. Score the field goal for Thornton. And now a chance to complete the three-point play and push it back to a six-point advantage. Yeah, and I don't think that's a good play. I'm not sure that ball was going to go in. It looked like it was going to be short, but the Thunderbird with the Goal 10 and Derek Thornton with the three point play. Here's Johnson up top for Funderburg. Ellum's trying to size up Popovich. There's the lob for Funderburg. Mitchell playing with four fouls. Funderburg rolls in and scores off the window. Just the third field goal, though, for DJ Funderburg. Yeah, but that's great patience that time. Boston College was caught in between whether or not they wanted to double. He waited patiently. And then had the nice back down turnaround jumper. Four point game, six and a half to play. Heath. Oh, wow. Popovich got a clean screen set on Helms. Now he'll take the pass from Thornton. Spin out on the three. Markel Johnson leads the NC State break. Helms feeds Thunderbird for the dunk. Eight for Funderburk, a Jim Christian timeout. NC State now to within two with 6.18 to play. You cannot run the fast break any better off of the defense right here. Unselfish basketball. Funderburk with the finish. We got a two point game. Chestnut Hill, Kevin Keats' his team has shot 55% from the floor here in the second half. And that's equated to 11 of 20. BC's had six turnovers. A lot of it has been forced by NC State zone. Here's Popovich going the length of the floor, and he missed it. And now the Wolfpack can tie or lead since very early in this ballgame, Malcolm. They've done a great job hanging around, and they're calling cards defensively. 
And you talked about the turnovers. But they've done a nice job creating offense with their defense. Thunderbird to rebound the Helms miss. Stick back no good. Banged out for Popovich. And Thornton slowed down enough for DJ Thunderbird to ride his back for a second foul and the ninth on the Wolfpack. Well, the stakes for NC State, a win tonight, they would be a game behind Virginia in the ACC standings. Remember, they beat the Cavaliers a couple of weeks ago. A win by BC, they move up a notch in the ladder. But for Kevin Keats and NC State, with two Duke games and a Florida State game coming up in their calendar, you don't want to give one away, especially a road game. Free throw by Thornton is good. Derek Thornton's now hit six, seven in a row at the line. And a quick reminder to you, we got a women's basketball doubleheader for you. Clemson Syracuse from the Dome starts our coverage at six. Number four, NC State, who's now lost two straight, visits Miami at eight o'clock here on ACC Network. Thornton has been really good at the line tonight, and he's pushed the lead back to four with five and a half to play. Bryce kicks for Johnson. Skip into the corner. A little low for Beverly's liking eight to shoot. Here's Bryce with Thornton defending. Four to shoot. Three, two, spotting for three. Back rim miss. Thunderbird the rebound and foul. If this is on Mitchell, it's five. It's on Popovich. It's his first and eight on Boston College. So well, great work by Thunderbank. Boston College iced the ball screen that time. Excellent D. They did everything except finish the play off. And Mitchell making sure he's like, hey, that was not on me. I don't know if Stefan's in pre-law, <laughs> but that's good litigation. <laughs> right? He walked away from that one, but Thunderbird with the first free throw. Really impressed with both guys, Bates and Thunderbank with their activity on the offensive glass. All right, now I know you shoot it and can still shoot it, but I want you to watch the ball here leave the hand of D.J. Funderburk on this free throw. Side to side rotation. At the end of the day. It goes in the hoop. It goes in the hoop. <laughs> but I know shooters like you got to cringe a little. No, the mechanics weren't that bad, though. I was looking for, you know, again, that's not that bad. A four, a big, soft touch, and obviously two big free throws for NC State. Under five to play, and Bryce knocked it away. Thornton back to his feet with it. Ten to shoot for the Eagles and Heath. On the drive off the window, Popovich the rebound and the stick back. Fourteen now for Nick Popovich. Four-point game again. Helms for Bryce all the way to the basket. Foul on Popovich. That'll be his second. Nine on Boston College. We're right here, he with the high runner. Popovich on the glass. It's just been that type of game in the second half. Back and forth. Both teams doing a nice job on the offensive glass. Bryce, though, with two big free throws. Too strong. Senior from Charlotte, C.J. Bryce, started his career at UNC Wilmington, where he played for Kevin Keats, then sat out as a transfer in Keats's first year in Raleigh. A year ago against the league, averaged 12 points. And he's right at that number again this year against the ACC. Seven and a half, 15 in the game. It's a three-point game with... Just better than four to play. Heath for Popovich. Bates defending. Back inside, missed it. Manny Bates bothered that one too. Malcolm. Absolutely. Just again, he is so good at bothering and blocking shots. Markel Johnson. Who, by the way, has one field goal in the ball game, four turnovers, and two assists in just 14 minutes of action. Daniels shoots and hits. Tie game on a three by Devin Daniels. 
Markel Johnson. Again, the decision making right there to close out the game. Unselfish play, beautiful skip pass for a wide open three. Tie game with 325 to play. Heath, a step back three. Rebound for Johnson. Markell spinning away from Thornton for the layup. NC State's first lead of the ball game since it was four to two, two minutes in. Well, the last two plays, Markel Johnson right here, though, put him in the spin cycle with the beautiful finish. NC State up two. Beautiful cross-court pass, wide open three, and then right here, tied up, put him in the spin cycle. Beautiful finish by Markel Johnson. He has been quiet. Uh, throughout this game, but those are two big plays, and I know uh, this young man's father is smiling down in heaven. Uh, Markel wears that chain uh, in honor of his father, Mark Thomas, who passed away in 2016, and again, remarkable story, and uh, he is so key to what North Carolina State does uh, on offense. And well, it's been a struggle tonight for him. You know that. Er, lifted early in the first half because of some turnovers. And there is Thornton fouled on the deck before the basket, says Jeff Clark. Foul is on Bates. It's his fourth. Ten on the Wolfpack. Well, I talked about how Derek Thornton, he's a righty. He shoots with the right. But a lot of times you'll see him go and finish with his left hand around the basket. Again, that time, take the hit. And another left-handed layup finish. Thornton is now 10 for 10 at the line. Don't forget following us here at Conte Forum. Nothing but net tonight. A preview of the week ahead in ACC basketball. A look, like, a look back at highlights and insight and analysis from Dallin Cuff, Luke Hancock, and Carlos Boozer. Kelsey Riggs officiates the process, if you will. <laughs> She had to keep Cornett and Huckabee in their neutral corners earlier this week, I noted. Zone for BC, tie game at 66. Daniels for Bryce, a three for the lead is too strong, and Thornton the rebound. NC State has three timeouts left. Boston College has one. to 10 to go shot clock at 10 Popovich in traffic pushed it up they slap it around Popovich the rebound flung it up Mitchell the follow he's fouled the foul will be on Funderburk it's his third two shots for Stefan Mitchell who is 56 percent at the line and these will be his first of the night well Mitchell was a concern we talked to coach Keats this afternoon about Keeping Mitchell off the offensive glass, that's something that he does. Uh, again, he's one of those throwback guys he talked about where uh, he's not a guy that's going to do a lot in terms of shooting threes and off the dribble, but uh, he is really good on the offensive glass. Mitchell only three points in the ball game. It was a first half triple. And the free throw no good. The thing about his free throw percentage at 56 percent the form is pretty good yeah and you take a look though at his stats again he does a lot of little things uh, the leader in steals in the ACC close to three per game and able to get the second free throw to go down to give BC a one point lead timeout for Kevin Keats well NC State, who trailed by as many as 12 in the first half, and the Wolfpack going to push it to a full timeout, finds themselves down one now with 1.57 to go. They'll have two timeouts. The next foul by Boston College will be, of a common foul, will be two shots for the Wolfpack. And the stakes for Kevin Keats, well, we told you what's ahead, but here's, here's where they are tonight, according to Joe Lenardi and his bracketology. First four out. Minnesota lost earlier today. Arizona State is playing tonight against Cal. They had a lead at last report. A win tonight by the Wolfpack.
keeps them trending up with two games against Duke within 12 days and one next Saturday with Florida State. Yeah, and obviously it starts tonight. Uh, they, this is one they have to have on the road against Boston College, but you take a look at, uh, if you want to call that a schedule, I call it a gauntlet. Uh, they got two Florida State uh, at North Carolina, Pitt, and then uh, you go back on the road to Duke. Uh, really, again, there are no uh, easy outs in the ACC, but uh, that right there, I would say, is a pretty uh, tough finish uh, for NC State. By the way, uh, Arizona State now up nine at Cal with under a minute to go. You also don't see their regular season finale, their pair of Friday night games that will close the regular season in the ACC before Saturday's full schedule. And NC State will host Wake Forest in Raleigh on, uh, on that Friday night. But of the moment, down one with under two to go and out of the timeout, Helms will put it in play. BC only has the one timeout left, Malcolm. Right, let's see where NC State goes. Again, I like the matchup with C.J. Bryce. Johnson for Helms. He'll shoot for the lead. Off the rim, Daniels tried to get to it. it bounces out, and it will belong to the Eagles. Helms couldn't have gotten a better look. No, I mean, again, you can't ask for a better and actually more wide-open look. Excellent dribble penetration by Markel Johnson. Kick back out, and I, mean, I don't think there's anybody within five to six feet of Helms. Wolfpack is two of 18 tonight from three. One-point lead, 95 seconds left. 36% of ACC games this year have been five or less or overtime, Malcolm. Here's Thornton. Ten to shoot, and he picked up on the dribble. Popovich lost it. Daniels scoops up the turnover. You got to find Bryce here, don't you? Yeah, I think he needs to get a touch. Johnson had it kicked away, stolen by Mitchell. Here is Hamilton for the dunk. Three-point game. Helms attacking. Hamilton took the fall. Helms scores. Timeout for the Wolfpack. Jericho Helms cuts it to one at 69-68. Excellent answer and patience by NC State. Again, a lot of teams, uh, again, that would panic in that situation, try to shoot a three. Excellent defense, though, by Do Boston College. The leader in steals in the ACC, Stephon Mitchell, and then Hamilton off to the race. Good no call by the ref. Excellent patience by NC State. Helms with the soft touch. And Wes, you talked about it. All these close games to finish. Uh, guard play is so key uh, to close out these games and having a player, your playmaker, make a play and make the right read. You look at this, NC State has two timeouts, or one timeout, BC has one timeout. The next Boston College foul, two shots for the Wolfpack, double bonus already in play. You see the possession arrow belongs to NC State. They're going to get to the backcourt here. I'm interested to see how BC handles the early stages of this possession. Well, obviously, Keith, now that NC State has extended, they'll get it in, and then I'm saying put Popovich in a high ball screen situation with either Heath or Thornton and then let them make the play. There's Popovich on the screen. Heath in the corner to Mitchell, 15 to shoot. With 10 to shoot, Thornton out near the timeline. Fall away, right side. Rebound, Daniels. Trying to head the other way. Daniels slices through traffic. Had it batted out of there. Helms will scoop it up. Tried to save it to Johnson, and it's stolen by Mitchell and Hamilton to dunk with eight seconds left. Front court comes the pack. Timeout, Kevin Keats. It's a three-point game with six and a half seconds left. And Keats thought that Mitchell stepped out of bounds across the way in front of the scorer's table. Yeah, and that, he is living. Now, obviously, we can't see it from our angle, but it looked like Kevin Keats, Coach Keats, was standing right there. Obviously, from his vantage point, uh, he could see clearly what was going on, and he was living. Again, right here, excellent D by Heath. Loose ball, get down on the ground. 
And uh, oh yeah. Uh, now again, the key thing is, was his. He can't touch it, go out, come back and touch it. Yeah. Okay, let's see from this angle right here. Yeah, he's, he's clearly out. Of bounds out. And he touches it again. Yeah, he's clearly out of bounds. They're across the floor looking at Tim Clockerty and Kip Kissinger. And this may have to do with the clock as well as the play by Stefan Mitchell. Man, I mean, what a frantic. Well, you wondered almost why Jericho Helms did not call timeout when he recovered the ball instead of trying to give it to Markel Johnson because NC State had one timeout left. Credits Stefan Mitchell of the leader in steals in the ACC. Again, it looked like Johnson was open right here on the floor, and Mitchell comes up with the steal. That's it. You cannot review the out of bounds play. And NC State is asking about the out of bounds play. The out of bounds part cannot be reviewed. Now, Boston College seeing six tenths of a second put back on the clock. Now, Jim Christian. Are you going to let NC State shoot a three? No, I think you got to foul. They're in this two. Situation. By the way, they're two for 18 tonight. And Braxton Beverly's on the floor. And he's missed all four of his tries. Markel Johnson is yet to attempt one. Bryce is 0 for 5. Beverly, we told you, the only two guys to hit one are Helms and Daniels. In for Johnson. Three point lead for BC. Bryce into the corner. Fall away three. No good. Boston College wins the game. BC beats North Carolina State 71-68. Well, the execution at the end just wasn't there. Uh, Markel Johnson made a pass into the paint. And obviously, NC State in that situation needs a three. Our Zaxby's player of the game is the California grad student Derek Thornton 22 points 5 of 11 from the floor but Malcolm he was perfect at the strike yeah and I think it was the start uh, the start that he and also Jay Heath got Boston College out to in the first half I think was key in this game NC State hung around came back but right here again Markel Johnson you need a three in that situation you're making a pass into the paint Either you either have to try to make a move on your own. That's just taking off too much time and a really poor execution uh, to close that game out by NC State. 71-68 the final.